Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. Hello everyone. This is the fourth episode of my ongoing series where I sit down with you and talk about some of the pictures I took in Bangladesh. Today we'll be looking at the fifth roll that I shot in Bangladesh using my Contax T2 camera. Once again, Contax T2 is a 35mm point and shoot film camera with a rangefinder. So without further delay, let's take a look at the pictures I took. This was the first picture from my roll of film. I am not a big fan of this picture because the darks are very dark, whites are so bright to the point you can't even tell what is going on. But this is the Parliament House of Bangladesh. Louis Khan designed this building even before Bangladesh was born. And after this building was completed, Bangladesh was a free country and this building was adapted as Bangladesh National Parliament House. I wanted to go inside the premises to take a picture of the building because this building has some amazing, phenomenal details. However, the security didn't let me go in. They said I need some kind of special pass to go inside which I obviously didn't have. But after coming back from Bangladesh, I spoke to my cousin and he said that he knows somebody who could give me access to go inside. And next time I go, I'll definitely utilize that and retake all of these pictures. <laughs> but until then, enjoy this wide angle shot of this beautiful, beautiful building. I think few of the places in Bangladesh are very very clean and that makes you think how clean and beautiful Bangladesh can be and this place is one of them. That day I was going to my friend's house and to go there I wanted to call a CNG and I was having some hard time negotiating with the CNG driver. This gentleman on his motorcycle saw me and he asked me if he could give me that ride in exchange, I could give him the money. And I really liked his approach. I really liked his style of entrepreneurship. So I wanted to help him out. I agreed to ride with him. But on the way to my destination, it started raining really, really bad. We had to stop under some shade and wait until the rain would stop. At that very moment, I took this picture of him. Obviously, the picture came out blurry, but the man was a really good guy. I wish things worked out for him. He was running a business before COVID and once COVID started, his business went down the gutter. So he had no other choice but to drive motorcycle to feed his family. And I wish everything works out for him. After it stopped raining, the man dropped me off and I saw this man who was selling this fruit I think the first name is Plum. In Bangla it's called Tal. I really like the composition of this picture. The focus was missed. I wish the focus wasn't missed. I wish I took this picture without pushing my film because the CNG in the back and his shirt are really complementing each other. The light green color on the plum fruit is also looking really beautiful. Altogether, the composition was really working in my favor, but I was a little impatient that day because obviously it was raining. I missed the focus and the picture came out blurry. And then on my way to my friend's house, I saw this young lady. She was picking a flower from a tree that was hanging from my friend's house. And I took a picture of her. She saw me taking a picture of her and she didn't mind. So I asked her if she would be okay posing for a portrait and then I took this picture and the composition came out really beautiful with the flowers in the bag and in her hair and then her lipstick is having the same color I wish I wasn't in a rush I was rushing to take her picture and go to my friend's house so I just took the picture and left I think that is one thing that I learned from my trip to Bangladesh and taking all these pictures, you have to be a little bit more patient when you're taking a picture in film because 
you obviously don't have a reference of the picture right at the spot like you do with digital pictures. So taking a few more seconds to study the subject, study the surrounding definitely helps, definitely helps. If I gave her a few more seconds to settle down, like as you can see in this picture, she's still fixing her hair. Her smile is still not a full smile. I think all of those little things would have fall into places and the picture would have come out really nice. So on my way back home, I saw these two men, they were holding each other's hand and crossing the street. I found it very cute, so I took this picture. <laughs> I took this picture around like 10 p.m. at night. I took it from a moving rickshaw. I didn't expect too much of this picture. I knew it's gonna come out blurry. I knew it's gonna come out dark, but I wanted to take this picture anyway. I should have used my camera flash, but I did not want it to catch too much attention. I did not want it to distract them. So I just took the picture and I was keep going. So the next day, my cousins and I went to this place called the Panem Nagar. I don't have much to say about this area except the fact that this is a really really beautiful area. All the pictures that I took surprisingly and coincidentally came out really beautiful. Oftentimes when I go somewhere I take pictures there are about 30% of the pictures that come out pretty shitty but all the pictures I took in this Panem Nagar came out really really beautiful. I love this picture. I love this picture because of the big mason jars that they have. The color combination is working out really, really well. Like this picture is on point. This is probably something I would print. The pond you see would be the main source of water for the person who was living in that house. And this house is fairly bigger compared to the other houses around this area. This is a really, really beautiful house. You see, this building would have a square-like shape with the middle being very empty to the point that you could look at the sky from the middle, which would create a very open environment for people to interact with each other, which I found really, really beautiful. I saw this couple, they were also visiting that place. I asked them if I could take a picture of them. They were okay with it. This picture came out really beautiful. I wish I got a chance to reframe this picture. The sky is missing, but if you look hard enough, you can see the sky in the pond water. So everything worked out perfectly. So after we visited the Panam Nagar, we went to this place called Mawagat which is very famous for this one fish called Ilishmas. In English, I believe it's called Hilsha.
Thank you everyone for being here. I'll see you guys in the next episode and until then goodbye.